7th of November, 1830. We hear the radicals are determined to make a riot. The Lord Mayor has written to the Duke of Wellington to say he cannot answer for his safety unless he comes with an escort. He gets quantities of letters every day telling him he will be murdered. The King is very much frightened. The Queen cries half the day with fright. We are in a nice predicament and all about nothing. For it is quite preposterous to imagine that the idle vagabonds who compose the mob of London care a pin about parliamentary reform. What they want is plunder. The Duke is greatly affected by all this state of affairs. He feels that beginning reform is beginning revolution, that therefore he must stem the tide as long as possible, and that all he has to do is to see when and how will be best for the country that he should resign. He thinks he cannot till he is beat in the House of Commons. He talked about this with me yesterday and I told him that in my opinion, if he really and honestly believed that the reformers obtaining power would lead to revolution, he was bound in honour as an honest man to resist to the last and to keep his place as long as he could possibly be supported. He seemed to agree in that, but I hope he will do it. We hear the opposition are calculating confidently upon coming in but that the most sober among them are somewhat alarmed at the difficulties they will have to contend with.